And finally, scientists believe that we may have caught a whisper from another universe. And this is not a sci-fi film, but a real signal that could have slipped through a cosmic wormhole. The big question is... For all of history, we have asked if we are alone in the universe. But what if that is the wrong question? What if the real question is whether our universe is alone? Scientists now believe we may have detected the first tangible evidence of another reality, a whisper that traveled across a bridge between worlds. This is not science fiction. This is the story of a ghost signal, an echo in the static of space-time that could rewrite the laws of physics and shatter our perception of everything we know. It began not with a bang, but as a tremor a fleeting, almost imperceptible vibration recorded by the most sensitive machines ever conceived by humankind, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatories, known as LIGO, in the United States, and their European counterpart, Virgo. Deep within their vacuum-sealed tunnels, lasers are bounced back and forth between impossibly precise mirrors, measuring the distance between them to a fraction of the width of a proton. They are built for a single purpose, to listen to the sound of space itself. In the quiet, climate-controlled control rooms, scientists are attuned to the rhythm of the cosmos. The data that streams across their monitors is the constant hum of the universe at work, the gentle, chirp of black holes in a distant galaxy spiraling into one another, building in a predictable crescendo before their final cataclysmic merger. They can hear the violent, chaotic blast from colliding Rutron stars. These are the sounds of our universe, the familiar violent symphony that we have finally learned to interpret. But then the anomaly arrived. It was a signal that registered on the detectors, but it played by none of the established rules. It was a ghost in the machine. At first glance, the waveform bore a passing resemblance to a standard binary black hole merger. It had the beginning of the inspiral phase, the part of the cosmic song where two massive objects circle each other, closer and closer, faster and faster, warping space-time around them. But that's where the familiarity ended. The first red flag was its duration. The entire event, from appearance to disappearance, was a single, sharp jolt that was over in less than a tenth of a second. Typical cosmic events are processes, with a buildup and a release. This was an instantaneous spike, too clean and too brief, to be the product of a messy celestial collision. The second and far more profound problem arose in the minutes that followed. The moment a gravitational wave is detected, an automated alert flashes to observatories around the globe. This is the era of multi-messenger astronomy. The theory is simple. An event violent enough to shake the fabric of space-time should also produce something we can see, a flash of light, a burst of gamma rays, an afterglow in the radio spectrum. Every telescope on Earth and in orbit, from Hubble to the great radio arrays in Chile and Australia, immediately swiveled to stare at the patch of sky from which the signal should have originated. They were looking for the celestial crime scene, and they found nothing. Absolute, profound emptiness. A silent, dark, and undisturbed patch of space. This was a critical, baffling contradiction. It was like hearing the perfectly clear sound of a thunderclap on a cloudless day. An effect without a cause a sound with no instrument to play it. This orphaned signal, this ghost note in the cosmic symphony, had no parent, no origin, no home in our observable universe. But the most damning piece of evidence, the clue that truly sent theorists scrambling to their whiteboards, 
was buried in the technical detail of the waveform itself. The signal was fundamentally incomplete. A complete black hole merger signature has three distinct iron-clad parts. There is the inspiral, the rising chirp as the black holes draw closer and closer, faster and faster, warping space-time around them. There is the merger, the violent peak of the signal at the moment of impact. And then, most critically, there is the ring down. The ring down is the after echo, the sound of the new, larger, now unified black hole settling into its final form, vibrating like a perfectly struck bell. This ring down is the definitive proof that a new object has formed in our reality. The ghost signal was missing its ring down. It had the violent crash of the merger, but then silence. It was abruptly, cleanly cut off. It was as if we had heard a sentence with no final word, a musical piece with no resolving chord. This was not just unusual. According to our understanding of general relativity, it was physically impossible for an event within our universe. This is what has led a brave team of international physicists to a staggering, almost unbelievable conclusion. An explanation that accounts for all the impossible evidence, the missing source, the truncated signal, the alien rhythm. The anomaly, they now say, might be the first observational hint of a traversable wormhole. A wormhole, first theorized as an Einstein-Rosen bridge, is a hypothetical tunnel, a cosmic shortcut through the very fabric of space-time. For decades, it has been the exclusive domain of theoretical physics and science fiction, a fascinating but unprovable concept of a bridge that could connect two impossibly distant points in our universe or even cross the membrane that separates dimensions. The established science says that if they could exist at all, they would be catastrophically unstable, collapsing into a singularity the instant they form, allowing nothing to pass through. But this new theory proposes something radical. What if, for a fleeting moment, one did remain open? The scientists suggest that what our detectors heard was the gravitational wave from a black hole merger that did not happen in our universe. It happened in a parallel universe, a mirror reality layered over our own. And its gravitational echo, and only its echo, leaked into our world through a wormhole that briefly connected the two. This elegantly explains everything. It explains why we could find no source in our sky. The source isn't here. It explains why the signal was incomplete. The wormhole itself acted as a cosmic filter. It may only be permeable to the fundamental vibration of gravity, while the complex physics of the ring down, the formation of the new black hole in that other reality, was unable to make the journey across the wormhole. The trip through the wormhole itself distorted the signal, shearing off its final moments. The data is still being fiercely debated, and the claim is so extraordinary, it will face years of intense scrutiny. But make no mistake, if this hypothesis holds, we are staring at the first concrete physical proof that our universe is not alone. It would mean our reality is not the only one. The implications are almost too vast to comprehend, stretching beyond the boundaries of science and into the realm of philosophy. This would be first contact, but not with aliens from a distant star. It would be contact with another reality itself. The ghost note has been heard. A truncated, sourceless gravitational wave, a sound that should not exist, has led scientists to a theory that could fundamentally reshape our understanding of existence. The leading hypothesis is as profound as it is revolutionary, that we have eavesdropped on another universe through a wormhole that acts as a cosmic filter. 
But why would a wormhole behave this way? The simple, elegant reason behind this theory is what makes it so compelling and what opens the door to an even startling concept, the mirror universe. Scientists now suggest that a traversable wormhole might only be permeable to the most fundamental force we know, gravity. Imagine you are standing outside a sealed concert hall. You cannot see the musicians and you cannot hear the intricate melodies of the violins or the sharp notes of the horns. The thick walls block those complex sounds. But you can feel the floor vibrating with the deep, percussive beat of the bass drum. The lowest frequency, the most powerful vibration, is able to pass through the barrier when all other information is lost. A wormhole may function in precisely the same way. The complex physics and energy of an event happening in a parallel universe, the light, the radiation, what we metaphorically call the sound, cannot get through the dimensional barrier. But the raw gravitational vibration, the deepest and most fundamental note in the cosmic chord, can. This elegantly explains why the signal we detected was so strange and incomplete. We didn't get the whole event, with its telltale ring down and afterglow, because only its primary gravitational echo survived the incredible journey across the cosmic divide. We didn't hear the symphony, we only felt the beat of the drum. This hypothesis leads us to the even grander concept of a mirror universe. It suggests the existence of another reality layered over or alongside our own, a universe with its own history, its own matter, and crucially, its own distinct physical laws. The ghost signal strangeness could be even more profound than just being a filtered echo. Perhaps the laws of physics in that universe are subtly but significantly different. A black hole merger taking place in a reality with different fundamental constants might naturally produce a gravitational wave that sounds slightly off-key or has a different rhythm and shape than one in our own. This could explain why the signal's waveform felt so alien to our analysts even before it was filtered by the wormhole. We might be seeing the direct evidence of a different set of rules for reality. We have now officially moved from the realm of abstract mathematical theory to a hunt for hard physical evidence. This single ghost signal, if it remains an isolated event, will forever be a tantalizing but unproven mystery. Therefore, the scientific imperative is clear. We must find another one. Teams at LIGO and Virgo are now reanalyzing years of archived gravitational wave data, an immense treasure trove of cosmic noise. But this time, they are not looking for the clear, obvious signals of celestial collisions. They are doing the opposite. They are programming their supercomputers to hunt for the fragments, the whispers, the incomplete ghost notes that their old algorithms designed to find clear and complete signals, would have dismissed as meaningless static or instrumental error. It has ignited a completely new field of science, a kind of cosmic archaeology, a search not for lost cities, but for the very seams in our reality. The potential discovery of a parallel universe would, of course, trigger a cascade of mind-bending questions. If another reality exists, does it have its own version of stars and galaxies? If it has its own physics, could those laws of nature be conducive to its own forms of chemistry and therefore to its own forms of life? The signal we detected, scientists stress, is in no way evidence of an intentional message. It's not first contact in the traditional sense. It's a natural phenomenon, a piece of cosmic driftwood washing up on our shore but it proves that the ocean is there. And if that ocean is infinite, then the possibility of other shores with their own inhabitants cannot be dismissed. This discovery is also a profound testament to the power of human ingenuity. We have built machines so sensitive they can detect a distortion in space-time smaller than the width of an atom. 
we are now able to perceive the cosmos in a way that was completely blind to all previous generations. This ghost signal and the whispers that may follow were always there, passing through our planet, through our bodies, completely unnoticed. Now, for the first time, we have the ears to hear them. If this extraordinary theory is ultimately confirmed, if we find more of these ghost signals and build a catalog of echoes from beyond, the implications will reshape all of human thought. This isn't about finding alien life on a distant planet in our own galaxy, as revolutionary as that would be. It would still take place within the familiar house of our own universe. This is about the staggering realization that our entire house, our whole cosmos, might just be one dwelling on an infinitely long street, a street of other universes, each with its own story, its own laws, and perhaps its own life. We used to look up at the stars at night and feel a sense of awe and perhaps a touch of loneliness at the sheer scale of the darkness. Now. We must listen to the silence between the stars and contemplate a new, even more profound reality. The silence may not be empty. It may be filled with the inaudible echoes of countless other worlds. We must now wonder if our reality is alone in the vastness of the multiverse. The neighborhood is infinitely bigger than we ever dared to dream.